This Discovery Space podcast is brought to you by Audible.com, the Internet's leading provider of spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 35,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded and played back anywhere. Log on to audiblepodcast.com slash space to get your choice of a free audiobook download when you sign up today. Again, log on to audiblepodcast.com slash space. Mercury, once believed to be two separate stars, it is the smallest planet in our solar system, barely larger than the moon. Surface temperatures can go from a scorching 800 degrees Fahrenheit to a frigid 300 degrees below zero, 48 million miles from the Earth. Mercury is dangerously close to the sun, making it possibly the most difficult of the eight planets to reach. So will we ever unravel the mysteries of this tiny world? Welcome to Space School. Observations of Mercury date back 3,400 years to the writings of the ancient Assyrians. The Romans later named the planet Mercury, the messenger among the gods and protector of travelers. An appropriate moniker, Mercury races across the sky, orbiting the sun every 88 days, far faster than any other planet. Despite its short year, a single day on Mercury equals almost 59 Earth days. Mercury is the smallest of the four terrestrial planets, even smaller than Ganymede and Titan, moons of Saturn and Jupiter. Yet Mercury is extremely dense, the second densest planet in the solar system after Earth. The planet is thought to be more than two-thirds metallic and just a third silicate, or rock. Its molten core has a higher iron content than any other major planet in the solar system, and the core makes up a larger portion of its mass, 42%. Mercury's landscape is similar to our moon, with extensive mare, or plains and marked by deep craters, scarring left behind after millions of years of bombardment by comets and other celestial debris. With an atmosphere so weak it's barely detectable, comets and other space debris headed for Mercury don't burn up on their way down as they do on Earth. In fact, they're barely slowed at all, so any meteor or asteroid pulled into the planet's orbit will eventually smash into this rocky world. One crater, the Chloris Basin, is 800 miles in diameter making it one of the largest impact sites in the solar system. It is so large, in fact, that scientists believe this collision actually reshaped the topography on the opposite side of the planet. Like the moon, Mercury has no plate tectonics and is geologically inactive. Mercury is so small and its gravity so weak that it is unable to hold on to an atmosphere for any significant length of time. Unlike Earth and the huge gas giants of the outer solar system, Mercury's lack of an atmosphere means it essentially has no weather, no gases to create winds or clouds to blow across the horizon. And being two-thirds closer to the sun as Earth means sunlight on Mercury is 6.5 times as intense. The sunlight is so intense, in fact, that some astronomers believe it has actually eroded the surface of the planet for billions of years. But despite this intense heat, ice may actually be found in the deep craters at the planet's north and south poles. Radar data has shown that water permanently frozen may exist in areas shaded from the sun. Even with water found on Mercury, without an atmosphere, life is all but impossible. Mercury, in galactic terms, is very close to Earth. Surprisingly, little is known about this planet. Orbiting so close to the sun makes it extremely difficult to study. Worse, reaching Mercury means fighting the pull of the sun's gravity. In fact, to send a spaceship there requires as much rocket fuel as sending a probe in the other direction as far as the very edge of the solar system. Despite these difficulties, in 1974, the American Mariner 10 reached Mercury. This spacecraft made three close approaches, one which even took it within 200 miles of the planet's rocky terrain. The probe succeeded in photographing almost half of the planet's surface. The next mission to Mercury, the NASA Messenger, made its first flyby in January 2008. This probe, using high-resolution cameras that did not even exist in the 1970s, is mapping areas of the planet never before seen. MESSENGER will continue making flybys of Mercury until 2011. After 2011, the spacecraft will enter a permanent orbit with Mercury and continue to send back valuable data for years to come. The determination of NASA and the world of astronomy may mean that soon the great mysteries of our tiny neighbor, the planet named for the messenger of the Roman gods, will finally be revealed to science. This is Space School, signing off. Class dismissed.